Welcome to Guitar Vacation, and you should listen to me because I learned music theory on the internet. I wanted to make a quick video after work uh, related to modes and one mode in particular, and let me preface this by saying I'm not like a guitar teacher guy on a pedestal with, with all the answers and all the knowledge. Uh, you know, I'm a dude that plays in his bedroom that really I'm not that musically talented and any skill or knowledge that I have gained has, has been through playing a lot of years and, uh, a lot of hard work and practice. For that reason, I feel like if there's something I do that works for me, I think anybody can do it. Um, and that's definitely the case with this particular mode I'm going to talk about. And also, really, you should learn all of the modes of the major scale. Um, it really opens up the, the fretboard for you when you do that and get it really under your fingers and, and internalized. We're going to talk about just the major scale in A to start with. I do three notes per string, so. I'm just going to play it straight through. Definitely sounds better with some... Uh, with some flourishments. That's the A major scale. Most guys are already working with the major scale. It's usually what you learn maybe right after the blue scale or pentatonic scale. You're, you're doing the major scale. Uh, one mode that I don't know if underrated or underutilized or undermentioned would be the right word, but uh, to me, I, I just don't get, I don't see it thrown around a whole lot in, in discussions of uh, a primary mover in uh, what you're doing to solo or improvise, but it's the seventh mode of the major scale, the Locrian mode, and I, you know, I'm not sitting around memorizing every, uh, every, name of, of every mode necessarily. Sometimes I remember them, sometimes I don't. But it starts on the seventh degree or note of the major scale. So we're just playing the A major scale. So the major seventh is one step down, or excuse me, one half step down from A. So here's A. One half step down. A flat that's the major seventh um, so if you play the mode associated with that it's useful for a couple reasons to me number one it's a uh, very intuitive pattern on the guitar that's easy to remember and get under your fingers. And number two, it's so close to your root note major scale, it's half a step down, that it's really easy to transition if you're uh, feeling like you're, you're stuck in that position one major scale. So again, 
A major scale. Now we're going to go to the seventh mode, so that means I'm going to drop a half step down to A flat. And the pattern of this mode goes like this. On the first two strings, it's starting with the first note. You go up a half step and then a whole step. Same for the next string. Half step, whole step, so it's... Then on the next two strings, you stay in the same position relatively and you're uh, playing a whole step and then a half step. So our first four strings are and then as we transition to the uh, B and high E string we have to shift back up a half step because whoever invented standard tuning on guitar hated guitar players. So you're switching back where your kind of root position is on the fifth fret. And then on these two strings, you just play whole step, whole step. So the whole mode looks like this. So how do we use that? We're playing in our major scale. seventh mode. I'm going to turn on a little something I popped in the looper for this video. Just a little A major chord thing. Start off in the A major scale.
See, it's easy and it's useful. And the reason why I made a video about it is that's usually not something you see just thrown out, you know, as a easy uh, transition from the major scale. Um, it, it probably is by by guys that are more advanced than me that are talking in, in uh, circles that I'm not worthy of. But for a guy who's fooling around with the major scale trying to uh, spice up his use of the major scale, I think the seventh mode is a, a really easy uh, place to go and easy pattern to remember. <laughs> 